What you just heard is special. It's gravitational wave signals emitted from an infant black hole converted into sound waves perceptible to the human ear. When two black holes collide, they form one larger black hole that rings down as it settles. This is similar to a bell after it has been struck. Black hole mergers are so energetic they create ripples in the fabric of space-time, called gravitational waves. They were predicted in 1916 by Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. 100 years later, in September 2015, the first direct observation was made by the Laser Inferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO. The signal was named GW150914 for the date of this discovery. Here's where it gets really interesting. Scientists are still analyzing this signal. Within these gravitational waves are specific frequencies, or tones, that allow general relativity to be tested under the extreme conditions of a black hole merger. The ringing you heard is from the first wave observed and is a landmark find for scientists at MIT and Caltech. It's the first time anyone has detected two tones in the ringdown phase of a newly formed black hole. We're a new channel. Subscribe for updates on breaking scientific discoveries like this. Let's dig into the physics. A black hole merger occurs in three stages. The first, the in-spiral. The black holes see their orbits decay and they get closer to one another. Next comes the actual merger. The two become one when they collide. And finally, once merged, the newborn black hole, still distorted, settles down to a stable form. This is known as the ringdown phase. Gravitational waves are emitted through all three stages of this process, and the strongest is the point of merger. The waveform of the signal shows this clearly. It increases in frequency and amplitude as the black holes spiral closer to each other and peaks at the point of the merger. It's at this peak when the ringdown begins, and as you can see, the waves dissipate there. Back in 2015, LIGO estimated the black holes from that event were each about 30 times the mass of our sun. At the merger, the energy released was equivalent to 50 times that of all stars in the visible universe. You can understand now how this was able to cause ripples in the fabric of our reality. But it's actually the much quieter ringdown that is of interest. That's the tones you heard. This portion of the signal gives researchers a chance to test whether a specific prediction of general relativity holds up. That black holes can be fully described by just their mass and rate of spin. Here's the key point of the new discovery. The frequencies and decay rates of both ringdown tones can exclusively describe the mass and the spin of the final black hole. This matches the values scientists previously inferred from the full signal. Again, Einstein passed the test. This finding is also important because it marks the first time a second tone, called an overtone, has been found in the ringdown data. Here's that tone. It was previously assumed current technology could only detect a single tone in a newborn black hole, like this. Now, the information encoded in both tones gives scientists better certainty that general relativity accurately describes the newborn black hole. This is also meaningful because overtones can shed more insight into other gravitational wave events. About a dozen more have since been discovered. Most are from other black hole mergers. One is from the collision of two neutron stars, and another is from the merger between a black hole and a neutron star. An upgraded LIGO is set to go online by the mid-2020s, and that's expected to exponentially increase the number and types of mergers we detect. We may get to a point where we find one a day. This is exciting because it opens up a brand new form of study, gravitational wave astronomy. Now we can listen for distortions in space-time and learn about everything around us. Further, each new event provides another chance to test general relativity. If Einstein's theory ever fails, it will probably be gravitational wave astronomy that flunks it. Links to the studies are in the video description. Don't hesitate to post any questions you have in the comment section.